hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here. You know, don't you? You know. The voice of hardcore boxing. Because that's why you've tuned in. Anyway. It's that time of the week again. You know what time that is, don't you? Weapon of the week. Weapon of the week. <laughs> yeah. It's that time where... I choose who's been a weapon in the sport of boxing. Now, this week, I'm uh, I'm going to go for I'm going to go for something totally different. I mean, I'm fed up of picking Bean or Johnny Company Man Nelson or Dillian the Can't Man White. Anybody who wants it can't get it. You know. And I'm fed up of picking Anthony, the disappearing man, Bellew. The man that just will not go away off our TV screens. This week, it's going to be Mr. Davinda Caldwell, a.k.a. Dave Caldwell, a.k.a. Penfold. <laughs> Lives in Rotherham, but born in Calcutta, India. Oh, my God. We're never going to get rid of him now, are we? Tony, no! Tony, no! Don't get greedy, Tony! Don't get greedy! <laughs> hey! Oh, my God. How many more interviews is this man going to do? But the reason I've picked this man is not, for, not, because, not because of his backtracking a couple of weeks ago. No, because we're talking about the last seven days, aren't we? No, no, no. I'm picking this man because every time I turn my TV screen on here, he's popping up. He does more interviews than Rod Stewart. You know that. But he's popping up and he's going on about the same old things now. He's had a bit of criticism off me. And to be fair, I used to think he was a decent pun pundit analysis guy, but... How can I be an expert analysis guy? How? He's not a world champion boxer, is he? He's not trained world champions from scratch. Has he? How, many, how many trainers out there can we get who've trained fighters from scratch who could do this job? Robert McCracken, uh, Adam Booth, there's two. Uh, but there's not many, is there, that have done it from scratch with people. And Ian, what he does, don't you, Dave? What you do, you found a way to manipulate the system. You found a way to manipulate the system with Eddie Earn. What you do, you put your tongue up Eddie Earn's arsehole, don't you, Dave? And what happens is, Eddie loves it. You find that G spot on Eddie, and what he does, he thinks, oh, that's brilliant, that. I'm going to throw Dave a few bones. And Dave wags his tail, doesn't he, like a little dog. <laughs> You know what I mean? If he can, if he can get to wag it, if there's enough room in bedroom, because there's usually Tony Bell you there, isn't there? <laughs> hey, both of them like little dogs. <laughs> but Dave wags his tail, and what Eddie does, he throws him a fighter, doesn't he? And this is what's happening. And what you've got is, you've got Coogie Bear, and Rob Tebber, and all these other gimps from Gimpville Island. They're giving these people the platforms. So all the fighters see what's going on. They think, hey, listen, I better let him train me, you know, because if he trains me, I've got a ticket to get on Sky. Now, what does that say for all these managers and trainers and other people that have got loyal fighters and they, they want to stick together? They're not hanging out at the back of these people, are they? Dave Caldwell's hanging out of the back of people. It's biblical rimming on a major, major scale. Um, uh, um, uh, well, he's learned to he, he's learned off the right people. Hasn't he? I mean, come on, he's learning off off Tony Bellew, and this is how boxing is changing so much. It's changing for the worse, in my opinion, because these people they get in front of a microphone and they're pushing themselves out there, constantly pushing themselves out into the media, making themselves feel important, but. The reality is, the good trainers, the great, the, the great trainers, 
they don't they don't do interviews. They might do interviews when the fighters fight, but then they disappear. But what Matchroom have created now, they've created a cult where we have people like Dave Allen on Soccer AM. He's never won a belt. I ain't got nothing against anybody earning a few quid. And my kids and my kids' mum, they're very fond of Dave Allen. But And I've got a soft spot for Dave, but I always stick up for fighters. There's fighters out there that have put years and years of toll in, got up every morning and run. Dave Allen hasn't even trained. He doesn't even train. But yet you've got people hanging out the back of him now at Sky. Because what they're doing, they've manipulated social media that much that these casuals that are watching the boxing, they don't understand what's going on. I understand what's going on because I live it. I live it. But David Caldwell, or Davinda Caldwell, your proper name in it, you are weapon of the week on Porky's Corner. And it's a deserved win for you, Dave, because you come out and said, no, no. You, these ask me for interviews all the time. No, no, you're wrong. No, I don't ask you to go on IFL, Boxing Social, Sky Sports, Match You Boxing. You ask me, no, no, you're wrong. If people are bothering you, Dave, for an interview, just do what Carl Froch says and says, no, I'm busy. That's all you've got to do. Just do what the Cobra says. You don't get Carl Froch hanging out of the back of IFL, do you? Do you know why? Let me tell you why, shall I? Because he'd turn around and say, no, I don't agree with that. We all saw what Carl said in IFL, didn't we? That Joshua hadn't shown him anything since he got beat by a fat Mexican in New York. That's what Carl Froch said on IFL. We all know that, don't we? All right? Obviously, it wouldn't have gone down too well, but he were, he were mainly thinking about uh, going on about the, the performance in Saudi where Joshua were doing the old Johnny Nelson, wasn't he? Throwing a jab while going backwards. So... We're in a situation now where fighters and former fighters, nobody dare say a word. They all know that they've got to tow the company line. I've just seen something with Darren Barker now. And he had his tongue that far up something on this matchroom interview that he pulled out a matchroom pullover. And his guy that he was doing this interview with, this other matchroom gimp like him, they're saying, yeah, you can, be, you can find these on matchroom channel, merchandise. Oh, my God. Is that the role they've created for Darren Barker now? Former world champion. And he's selling hoodies on a matchroom YouTube channel just to stay relevant. Oh, my God. You've got a gym. Go get in your gym and look after your fighters. But Dave Caldwell, today's about you, Dave. I'm calling you out on your bullshit this last seven days. But it's been going on for a long time now, hasn't it? The rimming that you're doing and contradictions you're coming out with is embarrassing. So if you want to come on my channel, Dave, I've got a list of questions here. I'd be more than willing to ask you. More than willing. And then we could sort of do it face-to-face, -face, can't we, on, on Zoom, Dave? Well, you could come and see me. I'm not really bothered. You're a weapon, Dave. Stop being a weapon and stop letting South Yorkshire boxing down. I thought Dominic Ingle were bad with his looking for fast car Eddie song. I thought that were bad, but watching you this last seven days, Dave Caldwell, it is shocking. But I just want to leave fans on. I just want to leave all the all the boxing fans on, on the on this note, Dave. Why don't you admit that you were texting Derek Chisora, telling him how you respected him and this and that, and Dylan White while they were with Don Charles and Mark Tibbs. Why don't you come out and admit that? So that's what you do behind the scenes. It starts with a direct message on Twitter. Then it starts with a phone number. And it starts with, oh, I respect you and this and that. And you're a great fighter and that. And if you ever need help, blah de blah Then when the going gets tough. And every now and then, fighters, they hit a bump in the career, don't they? That's what happens. When them fighters hit a bump in the career, they turn to people in the phone book on what's happened. It's very easy to turn around and say, well, let's meet up for a chat. And before you know where you are, you're in the mix, aren't you? We're a pay-per-view fighter. I know what your game is, Dave Caldwell, but I'm not going to be one of them people in industry. People who are around you at Sky, who are not going to say anything. I'm telling you now, my name's Russ Hartley. I'm Porky's Corner, that's me. I'm the front man for Porky's Corner, kid. You better believe it. I'm telling you that you're a fucking wrong and mate, and a sneaky cunt. All right, I'm telling you, you're sneaky and I don't like how you behave. I've got a problem with it, so I'm telling you now. All right, stop being a sneaky fucker. Grab your microphone and just do your job. 
You don't have to start rimming people. Give a pro proper opinion because you're killing the sport of boxing. Yeah, I'm fucking super hardcore. But I, and I represent all the fucking hardcore people. Boxing Asylum, my channel, Ultra Tech Sports. We are the fucking hardcore fans and we're sick of it. We're sick of the fucking bullshit. And we're sick of your interviews and your mate Bellew's fucking bullshit and rimming. None of you said a word when Joshua quit, did you? None of you dare say a word. You're all everything macho, aren't you? Why can't you be neutral? You're there in a working capacity to be a, a Sky Sports analyst, pundit, or whatever it is. And you're cheering like a cheerleader for, for Chisora. And then you're giving scorecards to, that says Chisora won. And you mate, you should be embarrassed. So, Dave Caldwell, weapon of the week. I wouldn't trust you as far as I can throw you. All right, and we all know why my mate strangled you, don't we, don't we, John Anthony? We know why he strangled your former cruiserweight, John Anthony, who were in Sky Sports Prize Fighter. Choke you out, mate, didn't he? Hey, eh? We all know why Gwyn Whale stuck nut on you in gym, don't we, in your own gym. So don't, don't fucking start coming out, sticking it to me to your pals on quiet. Come on here on Porky's Corner and have a fucking Zoom chat with me, you little fucking gimp. All right, weapon of... The Wii. So take a bow, Dave Caldwell. Take a bow, son.